today we have interesting package. Do you want to help me? Do you want to help unbox it? Come on. If you're not helping, just move. Come on, come here. Now you have to go because I have to unbox it. Now with the bird gone, I would like to tell you that this was sent to me for free and this is not a page review. So I'll be giving my honest first impressions of the product. A company called Icewell had sent me their product Zima Blade and in this case more specifically a Zima Blade NAS kit. Uh, the Zima Blade is low power single board PC that comes with already installed CASA OS but since I'm not familiar with this operating system maybe I'll talk about it more in a second video but um, as the Zima Blade is x86 device I'm guessing you can run Windows or maybe Linux on it and with everything out of the box let's have a close look at the Zima Blade um, the first thing I see or actually don't see is Wi-Fi or Bluetooth that means uh, the Zima blade can only be connected with wire anyway the Zima blade should be easy to set up as it should be just plug and play you can simply uh, connect it to your already existing network let's see what do we have in the box that's cool i like those i like when a company leaves a note like that that's cool and now we have instructions i'm quite sure no one reads them but it's good to have them yeah and now the zima blade Okay, that's tiny. Oh my god, it's really tiny. Oh cool. It looks like a cassette player. Yeah. That's cool. Check out how tiny it is. Let me show you a comparison. This is my tiny Mac. Yeah, it's that big. That's cool. What else do we have inside the box? Okay, so we have single SATA cable, some stickers, and I'm guessing this should be the power cable for the Zima Blade. So, if you're buying only the Zima Blade, uh, you can still connect one hard drive to it. That's cool. But let's look up now the Zima Blade closely such a small device it has a lot of connectivity it has a uh, PCI Express slot uh, it has two SATA ports uh, on this side it has mini display port one gigabit one USB 3 and Type-C for power I guess also it has rubber feet to keep it stable but the thing I find interesting is that the top is made of plastic but the bottom is metal so I'm guessing it should act as a heatsink. That's cool. Another thing I find quite cool is that the RAM is not soldered on and it is actually replaceable and they made it easy to access. You just have to remove this black frame and then we just need to unscrew two screws and once you've done that uh, the clear plastic cover comes off so far this single board tiny PC has more upgradability and more ports than most of the Apple products which is something I find kind of funny all right, let's now install the RAM stick that came with the Zima Blade, and this one is 16 gigabytes of DDR3. Maybe if you have 
old stick of RAM that is lying around in your home. You don't need to buy this separately and just use what you have. The installation is quite easy. You just plug the RAM and click it in place. But yeah, so with this done, I think everything is cool so far. So let's see what else did we had in the NAS kit. Now, while I'm going through the rest of the things in the NAS kit, maybe we can discuss possible uses of this tiny cassette player. And I think it has a lot of potential. Uh, based on the kit they sent me, obviously you can make small NAS, uh, you can make uh, home lab with it, you can do some retro gaming, you can make um, media server, uh, personal cloud and a lot more. I think this is made to be an entry level device for thinkers. Uh, for people that like to uh, do a lot of things and maybe experiment but yeah there is a lot of options for it I know it's not the latest and greatest in the hardware but I think this will do just fine with uh, basic needs one thing I, uh, I think it's fair to point out to is the power adapter for the Zima Blade and more specifically the power delivery. Um, since it's a standard type C, some people uh, may try to use it to charge a phone or something else, but I've noticed the label on the cable. Do not use this to charge your phone because things may go very wrong. Uh, this is uh, like the label say, it's a custom charger, so it delivers 12 volt and 3 amperes. And the best thing in the kit, I think, it was the hard disk rack. This thing looks cool and is also made out of metal. Um, I think they should include this with every Zima blade that is sold, and I really think it it looks great tell me in the comments below what do you think it can fit two hard disk drives and since it's metal i think it also can be taken as passive heatsink anyway um since i've never used uh, zima blade i think i'll make several more videos with it and if there is something you would like me to try uh, to make up your mind if this device is for you or not just let me know in the comments below and I will do it for you Thank you for watching and I hope I wasn't that bad with my first unboxing reviewing uh, of a product